Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by HermitCrabAnswers.com. As the title suggests, today we'll be discussing the pinch of a hermit crab. Does it hurt? Why it happens? And what you should do if your hermit crab just simply refuses to let go. Before we get this ball rolling, let's take a quick look at the why factor. Knowing why this happens could potentially allow you to avoid a few pitfalls as you hold your crab and prepare to feed it. A hermit crab pinching you is rarely a form of aggressive behavior. Most hermit crabs are docile and only pinch when feeling afraid or acting in self-defense. Hermit crabs also pinch if they fear losing their footing. They use claws to grab something to hold on to. Of course, this may be your hand or fingers during handling. Hermit crabs use their claws to eat, so you may be pinched while hand feeding. If you can recognize some advanced warning signs, you might be able to avoid a pinch. Knowing what to look for can minimize the problem. Avoiding actions that could provoke a pinch is the key. Before we take a deep dive into this topic, a quick shout out to you, the viewer. None of this content would be possible without you. We thank you for your time and we thank you for your support. Now, let's begin. When it comes to the warning signs, hermit crabs can only do as much as you know, meaning it's up to you to spot what could be about to happen. For example, if you're holding your hermit crab and it starts to dangle, watch yourself. A pinch of the finger to gain grip could be the next move. It's not really a warning as it's simply the crab just doing what it needs to do. As noted in the on-screen text, it's all about stability. As long as your hermit crab doesn't need to grab in order to stay in a comfortable position, then your fingers, hands, and wrists should be just fine. When it comes to food, pay close attention to your surroundings and how and where you place the food. Give yourself a bit of a distance between you and your pet. Don't linger too long with those fingers. Other than the search for physical stability and mistaken identity when it comes to fingers for food, put your ears on. When hermit crabs are extremely anxious, they can give verbal warnings known as stridulation, almost a croaking or chirping sound. This is your cue to stay away. Moments of fear and or self-defense can trigger these sounds. The question of pinching often, well, that's truly subjective. While hermit crabs are rather chill by nature, it's not out of the question to find yourself dealing with a belligerent number. Those crabs can actually pinch simply because they can. No reason required. However, by and large, hermit crabs only pinch for the reasons we've noted thus far. It's rarely done with an intent to harm. It's likely just a response to conditions within the environment. And now, we're finally here. The reason that you are here. Does a pinch from a hermit crab hurt? Well, they're a bit like a bee sting. So if you think those hurt, then yes. If you don't, then no. Here again, it's a bit subjective. The smaller the hermit crab, the less of a pinch and the less painful. The intensity of the pinch is often related to the cause. If a crab grabs you out of fear, you can expect a bit more. With intense pinches, you can suffer a small bruise or perhaps a break in the skin. Nothing too serious. It's all about your pain threshold, but it's minor in nature overall. If you do sustain an injury, follow these five tips. Number one. Wash the pinched area with cold water and antibacterial soap. Number two, apply an ice pack if the wound is swelling. Number three, let the wound air dry. Number four, dress any bleeding with a band-aid or bandage. And finally, number five, wear gloves when handling hermit crabs until the wound is fully healed. In truth, as we've mentioned, it's all about the cause. That's why we began with those issues first. Understanding the why can help you to avoid a few pinches every now and again, especially if you can avoid placing yourself in harm's way. As a recap, hermit crabs often pinch due to the following reasons. And yes, if you're curious, crabs will actually pinch other crabs. Number one, aggressive behavior. Number two, self-defense. Number three, unwelcome disturbance or disturbances. Number four, unsafe handling. Number five, mistaking your hand for food. And number six, breaking up a fight. Hermit crabs pinching each other or pinching you if you attempt to break up a fight. In truth, the answer is not much, to be honest. Just stay calm and stay relaxed. Never under any circumstances should you attempt to remove the crab by force. This could not only increase your own discomfort, but it could injure the crab, even fatally. Also, never attempt to open the pincers. The more you attempt to pry them apart, the greater the pinch. 
And finally, shaking your hand in an effort to free yourself is very dangerous. If you do succeed, it could come at the cost of the crab losing its life. If your hermit crab pinches, just walk to the enclosure and lower the crab into its substrate. This will typically calm the crab enough to release due in large measure to the fact that it's back in a comfortable and familiar environment. However, if that fails, there are two techniques that we suggest. Do these in a calm yet deliberate fashion as to avoid upsetting your crab all the more. The first tip involves running the claw under lukewarm water. The second option is blowing behind the crab or applying a hair dryer on low heat. These techniques can serve as a bit of a distraction, just enough to allow for a safe release while not injuring the crab. Here again, it all comes back to the why, although it's important to understand what you could be in for physically if your hermit crab pinches you, and it's certainly important to learn the responsible and safe way to release a pinch. Understanding why it all happened in the first place truly is the key to everything. And on that note, that will close the book for this portion of our material, but we've still got so much in store for you. If you'd like more information regarding this topic and even more detail, please head on over to hermitcrabanswers.com. There you will find a full-length article that will answer all of your questions and concerns as it relates to most every aspect of this topic. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of this valuable information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.